Now, despite popular belief, creating videos for your business is not an automatic shortcut to seeing more sales. So today we're going to talk about what to do if your videos just aren't selling. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I release videos every Tuesday teaching you how you can add video to your business. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now you've heard me say this a thousand times, but if you don't have video in your marketing campaign, you have a serious gap there. Video is considered by far to be the preferred choice for consumers to learn about different products or services. So if you haven't gotten on video yet, what are you waiting for? But if you've decided that you are going to get on video, then I want to remind you that video is a tool. Still, the onus for actually converting people rests on you as a business owner and for your brand as a whole. So today we're going to talk about some of the reasons why you might have started creating videos, but you feel that you're not actually seeing an increase in sales anywhere and what the connection might be between the videos that you are making and why they are not actually converting. So let's jump right into it. Although some of your videos may end up becoming more popular than others, you might be feeling that in general, your videos are just not hitting home with your audience and your audience members are not actually turning into paying customers. If that's the case, then what I recommend is that you make note of the different strategies we're about to talk about right now so that you can check whether your videos actually include all of these characteristics. These are the characteristics that I really think need to be included in each of your videos in order to maximize your chance of actually converting your audience. So there's six different strategies that we're going to be talking about today. Now the first characteristic that every video that is intended to convert an audience needs to have is that it has to be relatable. Nobody wants to buy anything from someone who they feel detached and disconnected with. So even though, of course, we want to have a professional air to our videos, we don't want to be so removed and hands off from our audience that they don't feel like they can relate to us. They should feel like when they watch our videos that they would even be comfortable to come and sit on our front patio and have a chit chat with us, that we are close enough to them and as interested in them and their pain points as possible. Now on video, there's three different things that you can do to exhibit that you are a relatable character to them. The first one is always going to be to show your face to camera. It's not because anyone really cares what we look like. It's really because people care about the human connection. When they see your face and they see your expressions and they see your eyes and they're looking into your eyes while, while you are talking to them, this all makes a difference. This all builds a greater connection. So when you do more face to camera videos, you will find that people will feel more related to you and more connected to you in general. Don't forget to always include an element of storytelling. This is a great way to relate to your audience. And there are so many different angles you can take with this. You can embed the stories of your own upbringing. You can talk about your education or even how you came to be in this line of work. Make sure you tell your audience why you think this line of work is so important. All of the story around you and your business, how you built it, your successes, your failures, these are all the things that humanize you as a business owner and make you more relatable. One area that many, many entrepreneurs end up falling into is trying to be enough of an authoritarian or an expert in their niche that they forget to include the human elements of the story and they focus more on providing all the practical value and the tips and the tricks. But in fact, your audience needs to buy into you personally as a business owner. So when you share your story with them, this is a great way for them to relate better. Don't forget to do your market research. It would be impossible for you to relate to your audience if you haven't spent adequate time researching the things that they care about. This means you need to know what their pain points are. What is bothering them right now? What are the successes that they've had? What would it take to actually make them happy? Once you know more details about your actual target market, then you are able to drop commentaries about that into your video so that your audience knows that you actually do relate to some of the things that they have on their mind. Let's look at the next characteristic. Trust invoking. Your videos absolutely have to invoke trust because who in the world buys from somebody who they don't trust? That's not going to happen. So let's close off this one point and then start looking at how you can actually embed more trust into your videos. And there are three ways that you can easily do this. 
One is to show receipts. So of course we don't mean literally here, but this is just a fun way of saying, don't forget to talk about the proof that you have in your hand about why they can trust you. How can your audience trust you? How do they know that? Is it your education? Is it the number of clients you've worked with? Is it the results that you've gotten for other people? Maybe you have testimonials or social proof. So don't forget to talk about this type of thing because people like to trust those who seem to have the information to back up the claims that they are making. Always be willing to deep dive into certain topics when you make videos. Now, the thing about short form video content like stories and reels is that frankly, you don't get a lot of time to talk about the topic. Maybe a maximum of 90 seconds is what you get to actually speak on a topic. So this is why I will always encourage people once in a while to host a live stream or a webinar or some type of other video format for example, a YouTube video where you can speak at length about a topic. This always helps to invoke trust. People are more likely to trust you if they hear you speaking for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes about a topic. There's no way that you can just make up all of that material. So it will be clear to them that you actually know what you are talking about. And I encourage you to take off the mask. Now, of course, we're not talking about these medical masks of the pandemic era. We are talking about the mask that many of us as entrepreneurs wear because we feel that we have to show up a certain way as an authority, as an expert, as a professional. So these are all different masks that we wear. And of course, it is wonderful to show up as all of those things, but let people see the human side of you. So be willing to take off the entrepreneur's mask for a minute so that your audience can know that they trust you as a person. Nobody wants to feel like they are handing over their hard earned money to someone who is in it just for the money or just for the business. Your audience wants to feel that you truly care about what it is that they are struggling with. So when you take off that professional mask, then this really helps to invoke more trust. Now I'm interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe to this channel. I think you should do that first. And if you want to grab a free resource so that you can get started with adding video to your business, make sure that you look for it in the description below. Just click the link and I will send it over to you right away. Now let's get back to our video. Let's talk about the third characteristic that your video should have, and this is visual appeal. Now, I definitely am in the camp of people that believe you do not need to look like Kim Kardashian, nor do you need a major studio built out in your home in order to make videos. Always start with what you have. But having said that, you want to create the best quality of video that you can with the resources that you have. Luckily, in today's day and age, all you need is a smartphone and one or two really easy to use apps. This will help to just make your video altogether a nice piece of content to look at. I can't tell you the number of times that I've seen strong professionals releasing videos that are blurry or not at a great resolution or that have text all over the place and just don't have a high production quality around it. So spend the time to learn the tools so that you can have more stronger visual appeal to your videos. Now, the ways to do this is to make sure that you optimize your videos for each platform. That means if you are posting to a platform that typically wants vertical videos, it is not a best practice to try to put a horizontal video there and then just make do with extra text at the bottom to fill out the space. Everyone knows that you're repurposing it and it just doesn't go off as well. So look into the different characteristics of the video for the platform that you are seeking to be on and then optimize your content for that. Not only that, but you always need strong audio and lighting. Now you don't have to invest in any fancy gear or spend a lot of money, but you should be well lit enough that people are not struggling to actually make out your form in a dark video. And you should be sitting close enough to your recording device that your audio is nice and crisp and clear. You don't want to be shooting your videos out where there's a ton of wind, nor do you want to be sitting 15 feet away from your device. So these are the simplest things that you can do just to make sure that your videos have a greater visual appeal. Now let's look at the fourth characteristic of videos that will typically convert a little bit better. And this is that your video needs to have enough visibility to it. Imagine making a video and then tucking it under your pillow and going to bed at night. This is actually what some of us are doing. We're putting out videos, we're creating them, we're taking the time for it, but they're not actually getting any visibility. So let's think about practically how to get that done. 
Now, one of the things to remember is your posting platforms. Where are you posting these things? Are you actually posting your videos on the platforms where your ideal audience is hanging out? This is a key piece that many entrepreneurs miss. Sometimes what we end up doing is choosing a platform just based upon our own interest in that platform. For example, let's say that I was an active user of Instagram and I like Instagram. Therefore, I just start posting all of my videos there. But did I actually do the market research to make sure that my clients are there? Or am I just posting them there hoping that somebody will find them? So make sure that you've investigated this and you have actual data, actual information that shows that your audience that you are targeting is on the platform where you are posting your videos. If you don't do this, then your videos will not get visibility. And then how could they possibly convert? Also, remember that in order to be visible, you need to post videos consistently. That means showing up with some form of regularity, at least once a week or a couple of times a week. The good thing about short form video is that it's far easier to make usually than long form video and you don't need a lot of time to edit it either. That means that you could even release a couple short form videos per week in addition to maybe one longer form video. That would really help you to stay on the scene and be on the radar of your clients. You will find that an audience member is really, really going to struggle to connect with an entrepreneur who only shows up once in a while. This is for two reasons. One is they kind of interpret this as meaning as feeling like the entrepreneur is not really in the game, that they're not 100% there. And then this has a tendency to make your audience member feel like, well, if they're already not even showing up just in real life on social media, what makes me think that they're going to show up in this group program or in this coaching thing that I'm joining? That's one thing. And then the other really real reason for this is because you end up being out of sight and out of mind. If you only show up once in a blue moon or just before you are launching something, then you are already off the radar and you are being completely eclipsed by your competitors. So aim to show up regularly so that you are actually a familiar face to your audience. Not only this, but the goal of showing up regularly is so that your audience gets the message about what it is that you want to say. This means repeating your same content either on other platforms or to the same platform every once in a while. We know by now how all the algorithms work. People don't see all of our stuff. So if you are repeating videos or repeating clips of certain videos regularly, then your content keeps moving in the system and the same messages keep hitting home with your audience. And we know by now that it takes so many touch points for your audience to actually convert into paying customers often. So let's not forget that as well. Now let's look at another one of the characteristics of videos that convert, and that is to show what is unique about you. USP is sometimes known as unique selling point, unique selling proposition, unique selling perspective. What is it about you that would prompt your warm audience to consider you over the other people in your niche? Now, I agree that it does take some time to sit down and actually map this out so that you are clear on what it is that might be unique about you. Sometimes we have a tendency to say, ah, oh, nothing's unique about me. Everybody's already done this before. I'm just another person in this game. But in fact, nobody has your story. Nobody started their business for the exact same reasons you did. And I'm sure that you don't teach the same way that everyone does either. So make sure that whatever is unique about you comes through in your videos. If it doesn't come through in your videos, then how can your warm audience actually know what is different about you from the rest of your competitors? So let's think about how to actually bring this out in your videos. One is to talk regularly about your personal journey because this is unique to you. Nobody else can borrow it. Not only that, think about what your price point is. Is there something unique about it? Meaning, is it more high ticket than others or is it more low ticket? Is it more affordable? Do you have payment plans? Is there some other um, tier system to your actual program that actually makes the price point more unique? Don't forget to talk about that. Your clarity on the pain points can sometimes be the most unique thing about you. What if it turns out that you are actually more clear on your audience's pain points than your competitors are? This has happened many, many times, and it comes down to how many conversations you're having with your clients and the type of research that you're doing. So if your actual warm audience feels like you are more clear on what pains them than the other people in your niche, then wouldn't that make you a no-brainer choice at that point? 
and whether you have a targeted client avatar. This sometimes can be the most unique thing about you because you are specifically targeting a certain type of somebody. There might not be other people in your industry or in your niche who are targeting that same type of person. They might be actually focusing on a different audience. So if there is a certain client avatar, avatar that you would like to work with, make sure that becomes clear and apparent in your videos because there is no use in having that targeted client avatar in your mind if that person is actually watching your videos but doesn't realize that you are talking about them. And the sixth way that we can think about creating videos that actually convert is to make sure that they are inspiring. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have motivational material worked into your video content, but it does mean that after your viewer watches your videos, they should feel inspired to take another step or to take action. And there's so many ways to get this done. Imagine if somebody watched your video and then they felt worse than before they started watching it. In fact, we inadvertently do this to our audience sometimes. Because we are the authority in our niche, we might have a tendency to talk down to our audience as if they're either not intelligent enough to actually get the results till this point or reminding them of all of the terrible things that they are doing that is actually still holding them back. The problem with this is that once we make our audience feel bad for the position that they're in right now, they don't necessarily trust themselves anymore to attempt to get a better result, nor do they really put their trust in us because now we've made them feel bad. So if you want to include some more inspiring talk in your videos, then there's a couple different ways you can do that. The first way would be to give people some practical, tangible action steps. I'm not talking about fluffy content where they understand that it's all well and good, but they don't actually know how to implement it. I'm talking about very practical action steps. Each video of yours should have one goal and one aim. So the hope here is that your audience member would see that video and then they would feel prompted and inspired to do one thing, to take one action step that's actually moving them towards their goals. So try to think in advance when you are creating the actual content of your video about one idea that you can leave them with that will inspire them to take action. Imagine what a win it would be for your audience member if they stumbled upon your video that inspired them to do one thing, they did that thing that didn't occur to them to do till now, and now they're sitting in a position where they are further ahead than they were previously. This is a great place to be and it also helps to build that trust that will actually convert. Also, you want to provide positive reinforcement. The content of your videos should be reminding your audience that they can do this, that they are capable and able to take this next step. All of the people that we are working with have their own pain points and that's why we're in business so that we can help them to solve it. But what if our videos made them feel like they are going to be stuck with those pain points forever? We don't want that. We want to remind them of the positive nature of their character that they already have that is going to enable them to take action and move forward. So leave your audience members feeling positive after they watch your videos so that they actually feel like they can do this and get this done. So these are some of the six characteristics that we've talked about for videos that I think will really help to convert your cold or warm audience into paying customers. Now let's jump back into our video. Now you might be thinking to yourself at this point, Liz, if video is not a surefire way to get more sales, why in the world would I do that? My friend, let me remind you that getting on video is the quickest way to actually shorten the gap between yourself and your audience. And this is irrespective of whether that is a cold audience, warm audience, or hot audience. Video is going to take you along with your audience as they travel down the sales funnel. When you don't use video, you are starting out with a small number of people to talk to, which means all of the nurturing that you do is still going to result in a small number of people converted. So why wouldn't you want to start out with bigger numbers so that you can continue to convert and still end up with a good sized number? Video can shorten so many gaps and it really helps your audience see who you are as a business owner, align themselves to you and be crystal clear that you are the best choice for them. So if you like this video, I hope that you will give it a like and share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because every single Tuesday I bring you new content showing you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.